Welcome Libras. It's the beach edition of the morning uh, Tell me more here. Um, really quiet day. And we're going to do your singles uh, spread now. This is uh, for the third week in April, I should say. And um, we do every Thursday uh, Libra and Scorpio singles and couples. And Monday through Friday, the quickies. And Friday's the weekend quickies, guys. So let's see what we got here. This is a singles read called Super Singles Four Pillars. Uh, we look at different aspects, um, the emotional, the intellectual, sexual love, and uh, core values and lifestyle aspects. Four pillars uh, hold up a chair or a table or a relationship. We're going to try to find your person here, though, and try to identify them. Uh, what I look at, it's like you, you're super single now for this reading. If you're not, uh, go to the heart spread, which is also out. Um, but this one is we're wide open because we want the right person. We're asking spirit, tell us about the right person for our Libras here, um, for their soul growth, and then you'll be the right one for theirs. And uh, let's bring them. Let's bring them down. They've been circling the airport because they had nowhere to land because you've been busy with other people. But now you're wide open, super single, and they're coming in, and we're going to meet them, and it's going to be the one. Okay. Tarot doesn't lie. It's a little bit of a different reading, so bear with me here. Um, this is going to be their emotional nature. Come around with the Empress and the Knight of Pentacles. Extraordinarily stable, right out of the chute with this energy. Empress and the Knight of Pentacles. Wow. Um, so we also like to look at how would they be as you get to know them. I want you to be able, when you meet them, I want you, if you watch this and then meet them, I want you to go, holy shit, this is exactly who Terrell Mia Moore described to me. Mm-hmm. So, wow, emotionally. It would have had the good childhood. That's how I read this. That's a story in itself. I mean, how many people tell you they had a good step childhood? So that'll stand out, right? And I'm not even kidding. It's like, hey, you know, yeah, pretty great childhood, you know, pretty good. So uh, strong self-esteem. Uh, they know their value, know their worth. They're uh, very secure. Uh, and this is your person to remember. We don't read this like for problems. We're reading this to figure out who your person is, uh, what they're about. I'm not really, I'll look at some of the signs. Uh, this is clearly earth sign. So they could have an earth moon. I'd look for you know, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Moon, Virgo, Moon with this person. More like a Capricorn, Taurus, Moon. I'm not sure Virgo, Moon so stable. Um, and with the Knight of Pentacles. So, it, it, they don't change, like, um, emotionally. Um, they wake up kind of feeling the same way every day. Uh, good morning. Nice to you. And um, you'll know them like that. It's going to be hard to pick up on that maybe just as you're meeting them, getting to know them, say on a date, how that might manifest. Um, but if you're sensitive, I mean, you can just feel this is a grounded person. It's like I would think just being around them would make people feel, be kind of disarming and grounding, you know, because they're so secure, right? And now this is in their intellectual position here, the emperor. The King of Wands. Look at this. This person is no lightweight. I've said that before, but my God, man. Um, um, wow. They, um, I've never seen this combination here. This person is so stable. And I got to tell you, they're the boss. Now, remember, this is your person, so this is not a bad thing. But they're going to be dominant. But they would be dominant in a Venus way, so it means like they could push you off the cliff and it with a night and you're kind of smiling as you go down. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, they're very um, probably charming and um, just solid. You get a solid feel from them. Um, but wow, with the Emperor and the King of Wands. Well, I mean, if you're on a date, I mean, this person is going to be outgoing. They're going to have a little bit of a loud voice, 
uh, male or female uh, kind of commanding voice. Um, if it's a female, it's not going to be a mousy, quiet voice. It's going to be a strong voice. Um, a male, really deep, strong voice. Um, they don't have to talk over people because I think like when they talk, everyone would just stop talking. It would be this energy like uh, crickets, how they stop and start or something, you know. Um, I can't even, it's hard for me to describe. You would, more than the emotional part because this is just self-contained. What I think what you would notice emotionally is the things, you would notice things not happening, you know, just that they're very self-contained. They're not... Uh, fidgeting they're not uh, they don't look insecure at any point they're just com comfortable in their own skin you know and but intellectually like they're gonna be on fire they're gonna have opinions uh, like you are not gonna change this person's mind and with the Emperor here implies that they're crazy smart they may have a doctorate I'm not kidding talk to me if you meet this person tell me they got a doctorate with the Emperor and the King of Wands and um, they're not afraid to express themselves but I think they do so real this is an alpha male or female which is like 1% of the population a true alpha and you know what true alphas this is my dairy they always come from this good childhood what is the good childhood you're gonna find and why do they have a doctorate because both of their parents have advanced degrees both of their parents are emotionally stable, emotionally uh, intelligent, uh, emotionally available. Uh, they gave this child through their entire childhood um, uh, self-esteem, uh, guidance, uh, love, support uh, to the maximum. I mean, they, their parents are alive. You go and hug them and say, thank you, okay? This is your person. And this is, this is one in a million, guys one in a million you know um and the stories they could tell i mean almost like a conquering i mean they may have started companies or uh, changed paradigms in some kind of field of science or anything like that guys i mean this is kind of the kind of stories you're going to get here okay let's look at the sexual the lovers this reading is very different, so if you're a reader, um, bear with me a minute. This is their uh, lifestyle core values here. The Queen of Pentacles and Judgment. You have the lovers and the moon sexually. Now, of course, it's all related. So, Queen of Pentacles and Judgment. Um, and remember, this person... They're like the total package. So what would they do for a living with the judgment here? Remember, you read this really differently. The Queen of Pentacles. I like this, too, because I get the sense, like, with all of their strength and everything, uh, you've got the Empress and the Emperor, guys. I mean, next to each other. Wow. It's a balance. Like, this is the total package. It's like they are strong, but they are nice. <laughs> They are always appropriately, uh, you know, strong and assertive. Um, um, so, with the judgment card, I mean, they could literally be a judge. They they have they could be in a position. They're in a position where they affect other people. And when I see this queen here, um, they're. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles is the best queen, takes the best care of her kingdom. But, you know, she's a little softer than the king. So I think they somehow they take care of people. They could be a public servant. I mean, this could be like a mayor or a senator. Uh, because what they do is they make big judgments uh, of, for people. Um, my God, like a city planner. Or something like this. Um, so, some kind of story they're going to tell you but about their career. Um, and it's going to be impressive. Like, when they tell you this story, you're going to be like, oh my God, this is amazing. Uh, as you're listening to it. And I hope you think back to this reading. Now, in terms of love and sex, 
um, looking for the um, Mars and Venus signs here so I'm trying to think could they have a Gemini Mars and a can well sure they could have a Cancer Venus so they could have a Gemini Mars and a Cancer Venus for sure so I think you're looking at if you're into astrology I hope that you are get their date talk to me or just put it in uh, you know one of the sites online and see if they don't have a Gemini Mars and a Cancer Venus which is a nice combination I wouldn't like a Gemini Venus but I love Cancer Venus and Gemini Mars can be a lot of fun and um, with the Gemini Mars would kind of suit them too with their mind and their amazing intellect and the power this person um, <clears throat> they leave life better than they found it whatever they do wherever they go um, when when they leave things are better than they were before and this person's your person they're gonna come into your life your life's gonna be better than ever you know because they're, they're not like controlling um, because they're balanced with the Empress and the Emperor so they are controlling but like in so far as they're controlling you're gonna like it you know um, they're stable um, reliable dependable trustworthy honest um, self-contained self-directed and uh, this is amazing so let me know guys Lira if you meet this person um, send me a message um, if you can like uh, it's easy and it's good karma it helps us out um, join if you want appreciate it if I get out of my chair <laughs> thank you guys